Right now, there is a big effort to recruit young adults across the country to join the military. But with a low unemployment rate in the United States, the armed forces are really facing a lot of the same challenges that businesses are right now. How to recruit the best people? Well, joining me now right here in Studio 61, I'm happy to have Major General Ed Thomas, Jr., the commander for the Air Force Recruiting Service. Uh, thank you so much for joining hey, me Tim, today, thanks. sir. Hey, Tim, thanks. It's great to be here. Glad to have you here today. And, uh, of course, I want to make sure we give you time to give your pitch out there to People. Thank you. But please start by telling me about the different challenges that you have right now. Yeah, Tim, you know, I can tell you it's it's probably the most difficult recruiting environment we've had in probably 25 years. Yes. You know, we, we go for an annual goal of a certain number of airmen we need to bring in each year. Mm -hmm. And we have made that goal consistently every year since 1999. But now we've got some issues. Today, you know, there's a couple sets of challenges, but overall, the, the, the short term challenges we're facing, the primary one is a is historically difficult labor market. Four yes. million more jobs on the street than people looking for jobs right now. Historic low unemployment rates, great for the nation in a lot of ways. But in the recruiting business, whether you're Pratt and Whitney mm -hmm. uh, or you're Bradley International or United States Air Force, it's a pitched battle for talent right now. Yes. And, and you know, it, it, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I believe the motto for the recruitment service is what? Inspire, Inspire engage, engage, and recruit. recruit. That, to me, means that there are some people out there that you have a little bit of an advantage. Some people are Absolutely. coming to you because they feel a calling, not just because it might be the best labor, uh, I'm sorry, the best job yeah. for them, irrespective. To what degree is that true? So, uh, so there's a lot of folks that you know they, they're looking for. Uh, they're looking for opportunity. They're looking for education, training, adventure, a variety of things. But ultimately, one of the things, Tim, that really sets us apart is this sense of uh, purpose. Yes. Uh, you know, for, for me personally, uh, I've been doing this uh, in uniform for 37 years, including my time as a cadet. Mm -hmm. Every morning when I get up and I lace up my combat boots, or you zip up your flight suit, or you put on your uniform. Yeah. Um, I, I never doubt why I do what I do. And that sense of purpose to be able to know that we're serving the nation, we're taking care of our families, we're protecting national security, it means a lot when yes. you get up every day and you uh, put the uniform on. Yeah, and that probably leads to a lot of job satisfaction it, for people who it, do make that commitment. It does. Yeah. It absolutely does. Okay. People are watching right now. This is why you're here. What is the pitch? What are the best selling points you can give to people okay. here in Connecticut? So as difficult as the labor market is right now, and we're fighting for talent because we need great airmen protecting the nation, um, you know, the, the, the thing that I would tell you is what you have is you've got opportunity, you've got community, and you've got a sense of purpose in the United States Air Force or the United States Space Force, yeah. in, in DOD, in the military in general. So let's just start with opportunity. Um, some of the best training in the world, you start getting college credits the, the moment you start basic military training on the enlisted right. side. Right. Um, job skills, being able to go to Europe, Japan, uh, mm -hmm. many places in the United States, being able to do things that you'll never be able to do uh, you know, in the civil sector. Yes. So lots of opportunity out there. Community is the second thing. Okay. Uh, to be able to have what we call wingmen or what they call battle buddies uh, in the Army, to be able to be with folks that you trust, the man or woman on your left or your right in the proverbial foxhole, so to speak, yes. that you trust with your life. Right. To work with those kind of folks every day. Yeah. And then finally, you know, we kind of talked about it, is that, is that sense of purpose, that knowing when you get up every morning, knowing what you do matters. Yeah. I can imagine. Does that sound like something that is a calling for you out there? The Air Force would love to have you. There may not be a better time. Uh, Major General, I know you said to call me General, right? Or call you me can Major. call me Ed, Tim. Either one. We'll call you Ed. <laughs> Thank you for taking the Thanks, time to Tim. join us. I know Appreciate going all around the country trying Great to find talent. Here. We got a lot of talent Thank in you. Connecticut. Hopefully you can get some there. So uh, we Absolutely. will see if it works. Uh,